So with DeSantis potentially finding some light here and being able to gain some ground, what, what's going on with the rest of the field? The rest of the field is going after DeSantis. You saw this uh, just now with Chris Christie. You know, I've talked about my dark horse bet that Chris Christie could really have a moment in this race. And I know everyone mocks me for it, talking about the chrysosons, the croissants, we call it for short. But if I were even allowed to bet on Predict It right now, Predict It's not even showing Chris Christie in the GOP primary betting markets, I'd put a small amount of money on it because I think he could he could have a, a blip at least, a moment. Christie is not going after Trump right now. He's going after Ron DeSantis, specifically over January 6th. I wasn't anywhere near Washington that day. I have nothing to do with what happened that day. Obviously, I didn't enjoy seeing, you know, what would happen. But we've got to go forward on this stuff. We cannot be looking backwards and be mired in the past. He talked a little bit before that about how Biden is running for office and why he or Biden running and why he should defeat him. But is that the way you think Republicans should be answering that question on January the 6th? He wasn't anywhere near Washington. Did he have a TV? Was he alive that day? Did he see what was going on? I mean, that's one of the most ridiculous answers I've heard in this race so far. You don't have an opinion about January 6th, except to say, I didn't particularly enjoy what happened. People were killed. exactly a strong statement. People were killed. People were killed. That's true. Well, one person was killed. The, The one person who was killed in the political violence of that day was a Trump supporter who was killed by a trigger happy cop. That's the part that Chris Christie leaves out there. But it's, it's, a smart attack for Christie because Christie's running a kind of a kamikaze campaign where he's theoretically trying to go after Donald Trump, but he knows if he wants to stay in long enough to go after Trump, he's got to take out Ron DeSantis. And this is the key. This is probably the biggest advantage that Trump has in 2024, which we'll get to in one second. First though, I want to tell you about great delicious meat. I want to tell you about good ranchers. Right now, go to GoodRanchers.com, use promo code Knowles. If you have not yet heard, the FDA has approved lab-grown chicken for sale. Yeah. Meat formed in a lab will soon be coming to a store near you. Yuck. If you prefer real meat grown in a pasture instead of a Petri dish, then you need Good Ranchers. Not only do they sell real meat from real animals, but they sell the best meat that this country has to offer. From steakhouse quality cuts of beef to better than organic chicken, everything Good Rancher sources is from local farms in America. Plus, right now, you'll get $30 off with my code Knowles, K-N-W-L-E-S, at goodranchers.com. They've got terrific products, top-tier customer service. You can't call the scientists in the lab to ask about their fake meat, but Good Ranchers has a team of people available for you to call and answer all your questions. Real meat, real service, Top stuff on the market. I just absolutely love their products. What are you waiting for? Enjoy real meat, real service today with Good Ranchers. GoodRanchers.com. Use code Knowles for 30 bucks off any box. Promo code Knowles at GoodRanchers.com. GoodRanchers.com. American meat delivered. Right now, text Knowles to 989898. As central banks in countries like China, India, and Australia begin looking to transition to a digital currency, the Federal Reserve has been contemplating the same for the U.S. With a digital currency, the government could track every single purchase you make. Officials could even prohibit you from purchasing certain products or easily freeze or seize part or all of your money. Times like these are a great reminder to diversify a portion of your savings into gold. You can do that with the help of Birch Gold. They are who I buy my gold from, so do thousands of other concerned savers. Birch Gold will help you convert an existing IRA or 401k into an IRA in gold. You don't pay a penny out of pocket. When currencies fail, gold is a safe haven. How much more time does the dollar have? Protect your savings with gold. Birch Gold has an A-plus rating with the Better Business Bureau. Thousands of happy customers. Text Knowles to 989898. Get your free info kit on gold. If a central bank digital currency becomes a reality, it's going to be nice to have some gold to depend upon. Right now, text Knowles, Canada, WLES, to 989898. Christie is going after DeSantis. Because if DeSantis remains strong, then none of the other candidates are going to have a chance to really take their shot at the king, at Donald Trump. Which means that the candidates are going to focus their fire onto DeSantis, which means Trump is going to maintain his big league. It it probably is not going to help the, the lower polling candidates. It could hurt DeSantis. We've already seen DeSantis' numbers go down. That is why this nomination is set up in such a way 
that Donald Trump has the overwhelming likelihood of becoming the nominee. And I talk to many people around the country. I'm on the road constantly. And they say, oh, you know, I just wish Trump would get out of this thing. I hope you, I wish he would drop out. And some people still love Trump, by the way. I don't want to undersell that either. There are a lot of people who still love Trump. They're gung-ho. They want him to have another four years. But the ones who say, oh, I wish it were some other candidate, maybe DeSantis or somebody like that. Why won't he just drop out? The reason he won't just drop out is because if you are telling yourself that Trump is not going to be the nominee because of some pro- prosecution or because he is too much of a loud mouth or something like that, you are fooling yourself. You are crazy. This nomination is Trump's nomination to lose by a country mile. I'm not saying he can't lose it. I'm not saying some other candidate can't pop up. But right now, it is not even close. And the, the primary is, the circumstances of them are just such right now that all of the incentives are for the other candidates to take out DeSantis, not Trump. Now, speaking of some of the other candidates, you know, there's a candidate here who he and I go back to college together. He was at the law school when I was in, an undergraduate. And a lot of people didn't know who he was when he announced that he was running. And I said, hey, don't underestimate this guy. And some people said, oh, he's this guy, he's an entrepreneur. He's the Andrew Yang of 2024 GOP primary. I said, I wouldn't compare him to Andrew Yang. This guy is a lot sharper. He's a lot more focused. He's a lot more disciplined, a campaigner. This guy could go somewhere. A lot of people laughed. You know, I hate to say I told you so. He's going somewhere. Vivek Ramaswamy has just broken double digits in the Republican primary race, according to Echelon Insights, which is a serious polling firm. The poll found, as I have said for a long time, that Donald Trump has a strong lead. He's got 49% support. DeSantis is only at 16% support right now. So now Trump has opened up the gap. It's not just in the 20s anymore. It's not just 30, 31. It's now 33 point gap. And then Ramaswamy comes in third. That's pretty, when you think about how many people are in the race, you've got multiple governors. You've got Governor Nikki Haley, Governor Asa Hutchinson, who's kind of, you know, okay, whatever. Governor Chris Christie. You've got a sitting U.S. Senator, Tim Scott, You've got other candidates, and then this guy Vivek, this this tech pharma entrepreneur, anti woke business guy who's got an anti woke asset management fund. You know, he's just kind of like a weirdo, and he's come out of nowhere because he's got a message that appears to be resonating with people. If anything goes wrong with the DeSantis campaign, DeSantis obviously a strong number two right now. Vivek has a real shot at being bumped up to number two. And then who knows? Who knows what happens from there? In any case, though, let's say you say, all right, he's in double digits, but he's not going to go the distance. Again, wouldn't make predictions this far out, but let's, let's say that were the case. Vivek has every incentive to stay in this race. His message is resonating. His numbers are rising. And every moment he stays in gives him a better opportunity to, if he loses the nomination, to become a cabinet pick, to become a, a running mate even potentially, to, to have more power and influence over the GOP and potentially over the presidential ticket in 2024. All the incentives are there and the, the influence just keeps rising for him. Boy, that was a great clip. I know. I agree. Make sure that you get more of them by subscribing here to the Michael Knowles YouTube channel. Ring the bell. We'll see you next time.